The Parliamentary Assembly of the Council of Europe will discuss your report fighting child sex tourism. What kind of measures can be taken by the Council of Europe to stop child sex tourism? Uh, child sex tourism is a problem not only in Europe but in the world today and the report tackles the problem and uh, I uh, based my uh, approach on so-called four P's, uh, prevention, prosecution, protection and policies. And some of the main ideas that are in this report is to have an exchange of information, to raise the awareness of this problem, to adopt a code of conduct for travel agencies, and also it's very important uh, for the states and members of the Council of Europe to make sure that uh, we have uh, this extraterritorial uh, um, sanctions when it comes to offenders. So uh, offenders can be prosecuted in the countries where they committed this crime. Uh, because we know today that it's very difficult when it comes to um, to conviction or you know for prosecution procedures, uh, penal codes have uh, limitations in different countries. But uh, crimes like this, uh, child sex abuse, they must prosecute it regardless of boundaries. So this is very important. It's important prevention, but it's important also prosecution. It's also very important to have uh, a database. So we will know the offenders. They, they must be on a radar screen, uh, again, for the sake of uh, children protection. Based on the measures taken so far, and I express my hope that if uh, the uh, resolution is adopted based on the measures that will be taken, uh, there will be uh, a much better protection for children. So this awareness will help us to fight uh, child sex tourism and fight the child sex abuse uh, in uh, countries of the Council of Europe, but not only in Asia, in, uh, Africa, Latin America, because as I mentioned, it's a uh, worldwide uh, problem and many times unfortunately uh, European countries are sending countries and uh, poor countries are target countries and it's very important again to have this international cooperation because uh, it helps to, to reduce the problem, it helps to fight against this uh, problem.